Hello and good morning from Magic Kingdom. I'm here today to do another unnecessary food challenge. Unnecessary because what I'm doing today, no one should really do it, but I'm doing it. It's a four part plus resort French fry eating challenge. Disney recently debuted, I think, seven different variations of French fries uh, across all of the parks and a few resorts. And it, my plan today is to eat them all. My super intelligent, very well thought out plan with how I'm spending my day off is I am eating French fries at Disney. So what I'm considering doing is, or what I am doing, is starting at Magic Kingdom and then heading over to Epcot and then Hollywood Studios and then go to the resorts and then I think finish the day at Animal Kingdom. So my first French fry variety I can get in multiple places here at Magic Kingdom, uh, which is sort of the case with a lot of the fries that I can get today, but I, I could consolidate where I'm getting all of these French fries. Um, but I think to make it more of a challenge, I'm going to be going to the different parks and resorts. So I did make it on the long run, I think over to Magic Kingdom to get some French fries. This is probably how I'm going to be getting back to Magic Kingdom later on today to head back to my car. This is sort of cool that we did like, race the train almost. You can see it from the next station right there. So I made it off of the monorail heading inside Magic Kingdom, which is decorated for Christmas. It's weird having just been here to see all of the Mickey jack-o'-lanterns. Uh, and Halloween bunting be replaced by uh, the Christmas wreaths and garland. And then of course the Christmas tree. But I'm heading up here really quickly just to talk about the various fries that I'm anticipating encountering and eating today. The train just pulled into the station. Um, but the fries that I'm gonna be getting today are the black garlic, truffle, and parmesan fries, barbecue fries, buffalo fries, Cuban fries, street corn fries, amazing magic munch fries, and then strawberry chocolate fries. The first of which I'm gonna be getting at Pinocchio Village House, the black garlic, truffle, and parmesan fries. So it is a busy day at Magic Kingdom today. I think I might take the omnibus down Main Street if I can, because I do have to wait for an arrival window uh, for my food at uh, Pinocchio Village House. I think I called these nutcrackers when I was here last, when it was still Halloween. Um, but these are toy soldiers. All right, I'm getting onto the uh, omnibus now, heading into the second level. Come on, second level. <laughs> Right by the Christmas tree. This is always such a cool privilege to be able to do this. Just going down Main Street. And it's very busy right now, so we'll see how long it takes to get to the castle. It's a one way trip to the castle. I took the other places that I could have gotten the french fries that I'm getting at Magic Kingdom today because they're not just available at one location. They're, all of these are available at multiple locations, or most of them are. Passing by Casey's Corner. Over here, the ice cream parlor. <laughs> Which is cool, just to be on this same level. <laughs> There's all these iconic places on Main Street. There's the Main Street Philharmonic. So the Omnibus, that's all. Right over here, right in front of the castle. I can't go through the castle right now because they're doing the stage shows, but I'll head around this way and then over to Pinocchio's. Okay, getting off of the Omnibus now. Heading down the very, not steep stairs, but very narrow stairs, I guess down to the bottom level. All right, heading around the castle over here to get my French fries, the first of many today. And then pretty much as soon as I'm done eating those fries, I'll take the monorail back over to the TTC and then take the other monorail, the connecting monorail, over to Epcot. This isn't much of a challenge, but I convinced myself that it's like a food challenge, sort of, that I'm just doing something deliberate with my day. Maybe one day I'll get the uh, dream lights back on the castle. I don't, I don't anticipate it really anytime soon. But one day, I did finally make the realization why it's so busy today, and that is because tomorrow is the very first Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. So it's gonna be busier today. I did put in my mobile order though, and I said that I was ready, so I'm just heading inside, waiting for it to be ready. This is the regular line, and then this is the mobile order pickup. It is so busy in here. I know the idea would be to go up there to the secondary level, or go over here to the window to look at these small world boats. I picked up my fries right over here in the corner at the mobile order pickup, and I'm gonna try to find a place to eat them. There's the small world windows, and I do think I'm gonna try to go upstairs to see what I can find up there. So I did some Somehow managed to get a seat outside, but these are the black garlic truffle and parmesan fries that I got from Pinocchio Village House, but you can also get them from Cosmic Ray Starlight Cafe and Columbia Harbor House at Magic Kingdom, and then also Connections Eatery over at Epcot. So this is a black garlic truffle aioli with parmesan on french fries, and I'm not going to be like reviewing these or anything, but I do want to give like uh, a ranking, I think, of all the fries that I have today. Those are phenomenal, dude. So believe it or not, those fries are at the top of my list. They're my number one right now. I know that's crazy. That's right, right up there on the balcony. I think it's probably a pretty good time to head out of Magic Kingdom. Now it is just really busy around lunch. I also did not mention the price, but it looks like these are all gonna be $6.49 today. All of the fries, unless I otherwise notate. So I went around the other side of the castle to get to Pinocchio's. Now I'm going this way over by the wishing well to head out of the park. I really do miss the original 
color scheme of the castle. Anyway, this video is not about that. Um, I'm heading to the TTC to take the monorail over to Epcot to go over to Regal Eagle Smokehouse for my next french fries. And then I'll take it too ahead of myself, but then I'll take the Skyliner over to Hollywood Studios, which is what I would normally do during one of these like challenges. So I definitely will be coming back to Magic Kingdom, hopefully with Brennan at some point to like really enjoy the Christmas ambiance because it only just started like a couple days ago. The Dapper Dan's just finished performing here on Main Street. So the problem is that Brennan and I have different days off now, so it's gonna be very challenging to make this holiday season work, but we're gonna do what we can. My optimism for today is just that I'll have an appetite enough to eat all of these french fries today, but I do have quite uh, the appetite. I definitely wanna come back when it's a little bit less busy than this. Um, just because today is the day before the very first Halloween, uh, the Christmas party tomorrow, so it makes sense why it's busier today. I could take a ferry boat, uh, take it back over to the TTC, but it might just be easier to take the monorail to then just walk over to the Epcot line. I wanted to try to get Magic Kingdom out of the way pretty quickly, just because it's a lot more complicated to, to get to and leave Magic Kingdom. Um, but I am gonna leave my car here and just try to dip in on Disney transportation the rest of the day. All right, made it down to my monorail. There's Magic Kingdom way over there. And just a uh, really quick connection over to the Epcot line. I do need to be aware of uh, the time because Animal Kingdom does close early. It closes at six o'clock tonight compared to the other parks closing at like nine o'clock or 11 o'clock. So I'll just keep an eye on that because I do want to end my day at Animal Kingdom if I can. If you're standing, please hold on to that handrails and stay clear of the doors until the monorail stops completely and the doors open. If this concludes your visit to the Walt Disney World Resort, we hope you've had a wonderful time and will return home safely. Okay, heading straight across over to the Epcot line. If I was on a resort monorail, I'd have to go all the way down and then up this ramp. And if I thought about it, I could have taken the bus from Magic Kingdom over to Hollywood Studios next and then taken the Skyliner to Epcot and then taken the monorail back here. But that doesn't work because I need to be over by Studios to then take the Skyliner over to the resorts that I need to go to to get the fries that are not at the theme parks. There is strategy here. And there's the monorail that only took a few minutes. I think that wasn't bad at all. But I've only gotten one out of the seven french fry varieties that I need to get about halfway there now, heading past the ticketing entrance to Magic Kingdom, which I always like to show. This is where I'm going to be going here at Epcot. It's all the way over in the American Adventure in, uh, at Regal Eagle Smokehouse for the barbecue fries. Very appropriate place to get those. So I just made my lap around the World Showcase and World Celebration. I had a monster energy drink to prepare myself for uh, my, my little challenge today and I'm feeling a little bit jittery from that, but I'm gonna head through the park and across the lagoon. Hopefully I can take the uh, friendship boat. It's a little bit warm today, just as far as like what the temperature is right now. It's been very temperate um, recently, just in Orlando, which has been nice. So I'm not planning to do any rides today, but thinking about it and taking the omnibus over Magic Kingdom and then the monorail multiple times, maybe taking the friendship boat and the, uh, the Skyliner and the bus a little bit later. I'm gonna be doing like a bunch of just transportation, which aren't rides, but sort of. It's sort of hard to believe that we've only been to the Food and Wine Festival once this year, just one single time so far. Again, that probably has to do with the fact that we don't have the same schedules currently right now, but we can definitely make a nighttime trip here again at some point. So I forget which friendship boat is gonna be open, if it's gonna be the one for Morocco or the one for Germany, probably Morocco, I think. I thought it would have been a little bit quieter over here because Magic Kingdom has their first party tomorrow, so I thought everyone would have been over there, but it's pretty busy here too. So Magic Kingdom had their tree up. Does Epcot do the rest of the parks? So these are the barbecue fries that I'm getting over at Regal Eagle Smokehouse. What is definitely helping me is that none of these fries seem to have like a protein variant to them, so they're all sort of snacks because they're like $6.49. And there's only one sweet option compared to the rest savory so that's why i'm saving that for very last so i'm pretty sure that it's the morocco friendship boat that's currently open right now they're not doing both or they haven't in a while so i'm gonna go over here first and and see so yeah it looks like the germany friendship boat is closed so i'm going over here to morocco so i think that i just missed it because it's all the way over there right now in morocco but i'll wait for it it departs every 15 minutes there's the friendship boat looking at the station also the christmas tree is not up here at epcot all right i just pulled away from the dock in retrospect i probably should have done this it did take sort of a while but sitting in the back of the friendship, which I haven't done in a minute. There are the luminous barges over there, which makes taking the friendship boat a little bit more advantageous because you don't normally get this perspective, getting to be this close to those barges. So yeah, in retrospect, I definitely should have walked this instead of taking the friendship boat, but I have made it over here and I'm putting in my mobile order and then walking right over there to the American Adventure. If you can hear me, it's very loud. 
try to hold my microphone out a little bit. All right, so again, that was a little bit unnecessary, but it's always fun to take a little different form of transportation every now and then. So I put in the mobile order, and I'm waiting for it to be ready, and I'll be heading back this way over to the Skyliner. So, so far, this French fry experience has gone a little bit slower than I anticipated, but I'd like to think that the pace will pick up a little bit once I make it over to studios. Epcot's been really busy up to pretty much this point in the World Showcase, but my order's ready, so I'm heading over to the Regal Eagle Smokehouse to pick it up. The smell of this place is just phenomenal. That, that just, that smoky, like meat smell. All right, just picked up my fries over there and now to go eat them somewhere in here. So these are the barbecue fries, which are uh, seasoned French fries topped with coleslaw, sweet barbecue sauce, and ketchup aioli. Tried to get a little bit of everything with this. This is only available here, as far as I know, at Regal Eagle Smokehouse in Epcot. Um, I don't know. So I think that it's probably because I've had like proper barbecue fries, um, like at Animal Kingdom, but I don't know. Those weren't my favorite, definitely by far. Like I wish that there was pulled pork or at least like the coleslaw was fine. I, there was like a subtle uh, like barbecue like seasoning, I guess, but I don't know. The, the, the ketchup aioli wasn't really it for me. I think that that was the one that I was looking the least forward to. So at least I have like better fries that I'm excited about. But that was a super quick trip to Epcot, heading over to the Skyliner. I do hope that you don't watch for food reviews. I'll like talk about food maybe sometimes, but I won't give like an in-depth like breakdown of food because I think it's so subjective. I think it's much more appealing just to show what the food is. And then if you're watching this and it sounds like something that you would enjoy, that you would try it out if you want to. And I think it's because food that I thought has been objectively bad, other people thought has been really good. And then if I think food is good, other people think that it's bad. So I just don't care about food reviews, which isn't to inhibit a legitimate reaction to what I think about something, but I just, I don't like like five minute food reviews on something as trivial as french fries, which is not to discredit valid food reviews. I just think with something so subjective, why would I want to waste your time? with my subjective opinion. Anyway, TRDL, that's probably why when I eat something, I'm just gonna be like, that was good. Or I didn't really like that that much. Also, I don't think that I do, but what if I had a more comparatively immature palate? Or, I mean, do people really wanna watch people eat? Just like up close? I don't know, I don't know. Food reviews to me are just, they're, they're, they're not it for me, I guess. So at this point, you'd probably be like, well then what is this video? And then I would admit, I don't really know. I'm just talking a lot without saying much, which, you know what? A lot of that is going around right now. All right, anyway, <laughs> heading out of... Uh, I've got now over here by the World Showcase to get onto the Skyliner over to uh, Hollywood Studios. Actually, I might have already changed how I am anticipating doing this. I think it makes a little bit more sense to go to the resorts that I want to go to and then go to Hollywood Studios, and then I can take the bus from Hollywood Studios over to Animal Kingdom because the resorts that I want to go to are Pop Century and Art of Animation. So the line's a little bit lengthy, um, and I'm considering re... Uh, Readdressing my plan a little bit too. So even though Animal Kingdom closes, even though Animal Kingdom closes at six o'clock, uh, some places that I need to go to close at five o'clock. So we'll see what that does with my time. So I made it to the, uh, the Grand Central Station of the Disney Skyliner, and I'm heading over to this monorail station to head over to Art of Animation and Pop Century. I was gonna get on the Hollywood Studios line, but I think I wanna do this to take this over to the resorts over here to get the prize that I need to get over there, uh, and then over to Animal Kingdom. I wanted to end this over at Animal Kingdom, but I didn't really get a chance to say this back over at uh, the International Gateway because I was put in a, in a uh, whatever you call this, a little uh, gondola with other people, which is always a little bit quiet, but I got some nice ambiance on the way uh, over here to the station. So now I'm gonna go over to Pop Century first, and then, no, 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 I'm gonna go to Art of Animation first, and then Pop Century, and then I'll take the bus over to Animal Kingdom. I also could have gotten back off at uh, Riviera, but again, I'm trying to like prioritize just the time that I have needing to go to the places that close the earliest. So I wanna make sure that I make it over to uh, Animal Kingdom, which always ends up being the case. It's always Animal Kingdom. So where I'm going is Landscape of Flavors, and that is the food court over here in Art of Animation. We are now gliding over the sparkling waters of Hourglass Lake. And what I'm getting over here are the Cuban fries. So I am coming back to studios a little bit later, uh, but just to prioritize these resorts, I think I did decide rather than go to different theme parks and resorts, I do, as of right now at least, I want to get french fries at a different location because I definitely could have and probably should have gotten 
uh, different fries in like the same theme park or resort. So here's the Finding Nemo pool, the car sections over there, the Little Mermaid, and the Lion King sections back over here, and this is the food court. I did put in a mobile order, so I just need to go pick it up, I guess, at the window. All right, so I picked up my mobile order right over there, and I'm heading over to a table by the window. So between this and the barbecue fries, I don't know, it was sort of a toss-up which one I was the least excited about, but I'm excited to be surprised by this. These are the Cuban fries um, from Art of Animation. And these are seasoned french fries topped with mustard and Swiss cheese sauce, ham and pickles. So in addition to being available here at Landscape of Flavors, I could have also gotten this at Centertown Market at Caribbean Beach, uh, at World Premier Food Court, which is at the All-Star Movies Resort, and then also the Sasagalu Floatworks and Food Factory at Port Orleans Resort French Quarter. These seem very soggy, but Hmm. Okay, they're good. Very soggy. Pickles is a confusing flavor. They are good. I wish they weren't as soggy. So I'm gonna have to pick up the pace a little bit and head over to Pop Century to go to Everything Pop Dining, I think. And then again, once I stop over there, I can hop on the bus really quickly and go over to Animal Kingdom with hopefully enough time. And what I'm getting over there are these street corn fries. I might have to bring these to go just to make sure that I make it over to Animal Kingdom in time. All right, put in the mobile order successfully over to Pop Century, running up here to the food court. Woo! It always comes down to Animal Kingdom. Every challenge. This definitely has less of a fun name. Everything pop shopping and dining. And then I'll be taking the bus, presumably, which is out in front of Pop Century. This is turning from french fry challenge into like a french fry crawl because this is pretty much the same itinerary that Brennan and I would take to do like a, a beer or like a just a bar crawl. So the 50s is over here, this is the 60s, and then the 70s, 80s, and 90s are going to be over here. But I'm heading inside the Everything Pop Food Court, which is sort of like a mirror to the uh, Art of Animation Resort. All right, cool, my order is ready, so I'm just heading over here to pick it up. All right, I got my order and heading over to the window to eat it. So these are the street corn fries. Um, these are the french fries topped with roasted corn relish, um, cotilla cheese, and cilantro lime crema. So in addition to getting these here at the Everything Pop Food Court at Pop Century, I could have gotten them at the Intermission Food Court at the All-Star Music Resort, at the End Zone Food Court at All-Star Sports Resort, and then at the Riverside Mill Food Court, which is at Disney's Port Orleans Resort, Riverside. And it is challenging to get like a bite with everything on it. But that is good. Mm. So I ate what I could of my fries and I'm bringing a lot of them back home because I don't think that I can commit to eating all of this today but I'm heading down to the Animal Kingdom bus. I also ran back over to the food court and got a root beer. It only took about five minutes and the bus is here for Animal Kingdom. So that worked out great. All right, I'm leaving Art of Animation and Pop Century heading over to Animal Kingdom and I have about 30 minutes until uh, the restaurant that I need to go to closes, which is Restaurantosaurus. All right, so I made it to Animal Kingdom and I don't have a lot of time but I definitely have time to head over to Restaurantosaurus to get my next fries. So ideally, I'll be back here a little bit later, but ideally I would have wanted to get two different fries at Animal Kingdom if I had time. I was so convinced that the next time that I was gonna be at Animal Kingdom, there was gonna be a Christmas tree here. All right, I'm inside uh, Animal Kingdom and what I'm getting over at Restaurantosaurus are the amazing magic munch fries, which I have no idea what this is going to be like. But on the way there, I think I am going to make a detour at Mr. Kamal's. So Mr. Kamal's has the strawberry chocolate fries that I can also get a resort, but I don't want to necessarily go to a resort if I don't have to, if I can just go over here to Mr. Kamal's in the next uh, 15 minutes. And then also in that time frame, I need to go over to Restaurantosaurus um, and put in my mobile order, or say that I'm here, I've already put in the mobile order, but this is Mr. Kamal's right there. So I was in line, the couple in front of me was sort of taking a while, I think that they wanted to buy beers, but they didn't have their like ID or something like that. So I'm gonna go over to Restaurantosaurus just to make sure that I get the fries that I need to get here because I could still get the um, strawberry chocolate fries over at the Riviera Resort. Didn't really want to do that, but I have to do it. They would have had to make the fries fresh, I think, because uh, the person in front of me also ordered the uh, strawberry chocolate fries, so I didn't really want to take that risk waiting for them and missing out on the fries that I have to get here. So I'm heading over to Restaurant Source. I have less than like, I have about five minutes, which is kind of crappy because I was right there. I was there in line. I'm still planning to come back and have an entire Dino Land day and just doing something very random, just having french fries at Disney World because why not? Of course, I'm showing up the last second, five minutes before this place closes. They have all the uh, decorations for Christmas here. Santa Claus is meeting over here. Oh, there's Kevin. I still want to come back here too and just eat something off of the regular menu and not something that's like random. But I just got the notification that my fries are ready. I cannot tell if I'm like incredibly repulsed or really excited 
for this one. There's so many details to take in with this restaurant that hopefully I have time to come back and do at some point. I have to make time. It's just so intricate and awesome. All right, should I try to find a place outside? This is actually pretty neat. This is where Santa Claus is going to be here in Dinoland for the first time. Like right here. So these are the amazing Magic Munch fries, which are French fries topped with sweet corn, chipotle mayonnaise, chili lime spiced um, cotilla cheese, and popcorn. So we made a mistake because these fries were only available at Animal Kingdom, specifically at Restaurant Asaurus and Flame Tree Barbecue, which I thought I presumed would have the same hours when I checked the hours for Restaurant Asaurus. It closed at 5 p.m., but Flame Tree Barbecue closes at 6 o'clock, which is when Animal Kingdom closes. So I totally could have gotten these strawberry chocolate fries at Mr. Kamal's and then gone over to Flame Tree Barbecue and gotten these fries and been able to get both of the fries here at Animal Kingdom. I decided to get them from Restaurant Asaurus. So that was a misjudgment on my part. I am so confused. It's spicy, I think. Um, I don't know. So once I squeezed the lime, it actually improved it like significantly. I don't know if I really liked the, uh, what was it like the um, chipotle mayonnaise? That and like the uh, the ketchup aioli was just sort of a lot. This is right across from Dinosaur. So now just to make sure that I can actually have all of the fries that I want to have today, I'm heading over to Hollywood Studios, which could have been my final stop of the day, but it is not, unfortunately. I'm excited to come back, hopefully pretty soon, and see all of these lights illuminated here in Dinoland. One last Christmas in Dinoland. So I'll take the bus over to Hollywood Studios, and then I guess the uh, uh, the Skyliner back over to Riviera, which is fine, honestly, because this is how I would have wanted to conclude my night anyway, with the only uh, sweet option out of all these savory options. I still don't know why they committed to closing this park again so early when it would just benefit so much from being a nighttime park because it was successfully. I didn't realize it was in such a rush when I got here that I didn't go across the bridge, but I'll head across it now, I guess. Not that I have to go across it every single time, but it's always a pleasant way to either get here or leave. All right, look at how pleasant this is. This will never get old. So hopefully the, uh, the bus takes me over to Hollywood Studios. There's no like time sensitivity now at least, which is good because I have plenty of hours over at Hollywood Studios to get my next french fry and then head over to Riviera. It just would have been smart to do it here instead of having to go all the way to a different resort. But that's why I'm gonna justify this as a challenge. Seven different french fries from seven different locations. At this point, I think I'm just really ready to be done eating french fries today. All right, I'm heading all the way down to my bus stop down here for Hollywood Studios. I got dropped off on the other side over there and now I'm way down at the very end, of course. So it took a little while with the Hollywood Studios bus Finally showed up. It is pretty much nighttime. And I just made it off of the bus and I'm heading over to the entrance of Hollywood Studios. The fact that it gets dark at five o'clock now, I hate it. I'm just here to get French fries and then get right back onto the Skyliner to take this over to the Riviera Resort. And then that is where I'll conclude my challenge today. But I still have to get back to the TTC. I guess it's almost dark. You can still barely see like a shred of daylight. Sort of, but the sun is set, definitely. And look at these beautiful Christmas decorations here at Hollywood Studios. They have the garland up in front of the park, and I'm pretty sure, I think, that the Christmas tree is up here. And by that, I mean I saw a picture of it, so that's a pretty validating and verifiable reference, right? And I'm pretty positive that because Hollywood Studios has Jollywood Nights, and Magic Kingdom has Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, that's why these parks are decorated and ready for Christmas, because they have hard-ticketed parties. And there's the Christmas tree right over there, which is not lit, interesting. So I'm heading over to the Backlot Express to get these buffalo fries. And getting these will complete all of the savory fries that I need to get at Disney today, finally. So this is sort of eerie, just having the tree be in complete darkness over here on Echo Lake. Thankfully, this is a little bit easier to get to in Hollywood Studios, just right over here by what used to be old MGM, sort of. Interestingly, Backlot Express is sort of closed earlier in recent memories. The fact that it's open is pretty cool, but I guess it's deceiving because it is only six o'clock and it's completely dark. And here they are, my buffalo fries. Gonna go find a place to sit down and enjoy these, my final savory fries. Finally, it's been a long day. I should have decided to come outside. There are multiple indoor places to choose from. I'm gonna sit over here. It's interesting to see how much this place has changed in the past like 10 plus years that I've been coming to Disney pretty regularly. There used to be a Roger Rabbit car over here. Used to be a lot more props inside because this was more movie set centric, but these are the buffalo fries. Ranch seasoned french fries drizzled with buffalo ranch sauce and blue cheese dressing. 
so I am optimistic about this one. A little bit nervous about the buffalo sauce here, and interestingly, this is one of the fries that I could have only gotten here at Hollywood Studios, either at the Backlot Express, which is where I am now, or the ABC Commissary, or Rosie's All-American Cafe, so. I love blue cheese, so this is a hit for me. I don't usually love, like, um, buffalo sauce, but I like it. I like it with this. All right, those fries were good. I was particularly nervous about those fries because I don't love, like, again, uh, buffalo sauce. Makes me nervous, but that was delicious. I think that what's been consistent about these fries, other than them being $6.49, with the exception of the last one, which is apparently $6.99, uh, more or less, they're all a sauce, a seasoning, a cheese and a garnish. So they've all been very like consistent and good. Before I leave though, I need to come in here to pay my respects. Potato land. Hello, I'm eating a lot of fries today. So I hope you're proud of me, potato. You can see Gertie with her Santa hat sort of there. So it's a decorated for Christmas here. The lights just aren't on. Some of them, the Christmas tree. All right, heading out of Hollywood Studios and over to the Skyliner. It's actually really cute. People are actually waiting for this stop sign here to turn green. But I'm going over to Caribbean Beach and then over to Riviera which I could have done earlier too, but I did not do it. How I did this, I don't love it, but I made it work, or I anticipate making it work. The silver lining is that at least I'm ending the day with something sweet. All right, should get a little uh, gondola by myself, hopefully to head over to Caribbean Beach. I probably won't get one over to Epcot though, because that's probably where a lot of people are going. It's a little bit dark. Here I go, launching over to Caribbean Beach. Which again, I could have avoided. It's not that it's that much out of the way. It's just that I was at Mr. Kamal's. I was there and they had the strawberry chocolate fries and I didn't get them. So you can't see it, but I took that line over to um, Art of Animation and Pop Century. Please and I came from this way over to Epcot, passed by Riviera, which is right over there. Habit. And that's where I'm going now. Over to Primo Piatto. And I've made it to Caribbean Beach, which I could have gotten fries here too, but I didn't think about it. There were so many different ways that I could have done this that could have made more sense and how I did it. But what matters is I'm still doing it. So is the Epcot line going to be a little bit busier? Maybe. Yeah, a little bit. Could I walk? I definitely could. Do I want to? I really don't. All right, I made it to Riviera. It was just a few minutes, but now I'm heading around the station and over to Primo Piatto, where I'm going to be getting, and I don't think that I've mentioned this at all, I'm getting the strawberry chocolate fries. Primo Piatto is the quick service here at Riviera. And I could have walked around the building sort of that way, but I wanted to pass by the murals here, the Peter Pan and Tangled murals, which are always gorgeous and beautiful to see. Skyliner is right over there, and this is Primo Piatto. I did not think that my day would end here. I see the fries on the menu right there. I'm at the finish line. Once I get these, I'm going to go back inside and then go up to the bus station. Okay, I have my mobile order, and I'm getting a table to eat it at. So I think I know why these are 50 cents more expensive because this is a bigger box and this looks phenomenal. These are the strawberry chocolate fries, which are cinnamon sugar French fries topped with chocolate ganache, strawberries, and honey cream cheese. Oh my God. That looks awesome. Please be good. <laughs> So inside the lobby, Rima Piatto is right outside over there. That was definitely one of my top three fries today. I'm outside now and heading over to the buses to go back to Magic Kingdom to go to my car. All right, the bus is here. So I am bringing some stuff home to Brennan. Pretty much um, all the fries that I got like in the theme parks were sort of just dine-in, but all of the mobile orders at the resorts were given to me to go so I could bring some stuff for Brennan to try back to the house. And here I am at Magic Kingdom. Again, in retrospect, I could have probably parked at the TTC and then taken the monorail over to Epcot and then concluded my day at Magic Kingdom because I'm here at the front of the park now and then I could have taken the ferry back to the car, but I did not do that. And if you're security now, I'm turning right back around to get onto the ferry boat. I have not been having the best luck with Disney transportation today with the boats and buses and monorails pretty much leaving as soon as I get there. All right, that didn't take that long. Actually, just a few minutes. I really do miss being able to go all the way out there on the ferry boat. A lot of good memories on the ferry boat just when I had my annual pass a long time ago. I think I'm nostalgic for some reason about these lights here on the ferry and then over by the buses and Main Street. Obviously, it's also a little bit weird to see a uh, ferry just in the darkness over there. Also, all the pennies and coins like over there on the dock. All right, I made it back over to the TTC. Today was supposed to be a French fry challenge, but it ended up being a Disney transportation challenge. Those are always fun to do every now and then. Our are going to be starting here pretty soon, so it's probably good to go and Head back to the car. It must be like a fun video to do. Just sort of as an interim video between Halloween and 
Christmas starting at the theme parks and hopefully Brennan likes some of these fries that I'm bringing home. I feel like the parking lot used to be more orange. Um, but I do have a list of my favorite to least favorite of the fries that I had today. So my number one was the black garlic truffle and parmesan fries. Those were the first fries that I got at Magic Kingdom. Then number two, street corn fries. Number three, strawberry chocolate fries. Number four, buffalo fries. Number five, uh, Cuban fries. Number six, amazing magic munch fries. And then number seven, my least favorite were the barbecue fries. The list could be shuffled around a little bit, but I do feel pretty good about it. I had a lot of French fries today, that's for sure. But today I went to four theme parks and three hotels to get seven different um, versions of French fries that ended up all being delicious. These were all snacks. They were, most of them, they were $6.49 and then the one $6.99. So there were like alternative um, fries that I probably could have gotten at Disney, but these were sort of just new fries that I enjoyed. They were delicious and I'm tired. Didn't think this would take eight hours, but it did. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I will see you soon. Have a great day and have a good one. <laughs>